Welcome to my new signature series, Gynophiles. This is where I'll cover different topics from all aspects of women's health. From pregnancy to periods to perimenopause and today's topic, urinary incontinence or leaking urine. Incontinence can range from leaking a couple drops of urine to completely emptying your bladder. It's a common problem and there are many treatment options. Did you know that there are three different kinds of urinary incontinence? Number one, stress urinary incontinence. This is leaking urine with things like cough, laugh, sneeze, exercise, jumping up and down. You get the picture. Number two, urge urinary incontinence. This is when you get a strong urge to pee and you cannot stop it. Gotta go, gotta go right now. And three, mixed urinary incontinence. Think of this as having components of both stress and urge urinary incontinence. What are the causes of incontinence? It's a long list. Let's quickly go through them. UTIs, different medications, things like diuretics, alcohol and caffeine have the side effect of incontinence. For people that have weakening of the muscles of the pelvic floor, this can cause incontinence, like pelvic floor disorders. You have some patients that have chronic constipation, they have anatomical problems, or they have neuromuscular problems that can lead to incontinence. How do we diagnose this? My number one recommendation is to see your OBGYN. We are trained in taking a really good history and physical exam. There are different techniques and aspects of our physical exam that we can do to help get to that diagnosis. So many different treatment options, so let's quickly go through them. But before I do that, I wanna remind you that treatment looks different person to person. So it's super important for you to talk about your goals with your OBGYN, because what works for you may not work for me. First line of treatment is gonna be lifestyle changes. Things like weight loss, bladder training, Managing your fluid intake throughout the day, these are basic things that can actually help with the leaking. One of the most important things, and I love to send my patients to see them, is pelvic floor physical therapy. This is a must. Most women, especially if you've been pregnant, go see a pelvic floor physical therapist. I don't care if you had a vaginal delivery or a C-section, it's gonna help. Other forms of treatment that are not surgical are gonna be things like pessaries. And with urge urinary incontinence, we can try different medications. Surgical options for treatment are things like a bladder sling, a copal suspension, urethral bulking, sacral neural modulation. This is a procedure where electrodes are placed close to the nerve that controls the bladder. It's pretty interesting. My biggest takeaway from all of this is if you're leaking urine, one, you're not alone. It's very, very common. Seek help. Talk to your OBGYN. This is why we're here. Back in the day, there was this mentality that, oh, you've had kids before. This is just a normal part of life. And that's a big lie. You don't have to live with leaking urine. Make sure to check back for more videos. I'm really excited about this new series, Gynophiles, and I hope you are too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.